they have similar properties because you see after lithium there are how many elements there are 17 more groups after lithium but are all these groups filled no there are there is a gap of 10 if you would have noticed there is a gap of 10 in between so there are seven more elements after lithium so if you write lithium's electronic configuration we have hydrogen has uh, has atomic number one then helium two so lithium has atomic number three so what would be its uh, atomic configuration electronic configuration it will be two comma one and so what would be its valency it would be one because it will lose one electron to uh, make uh, make it a stable doublet for with two electrons so lithium has valency one okay so after lithium there is beryllium then there is boron and all so these are four five six seven eight and so after seven elements lithium is three so after seven more elements there is sodium which is 11. now what would be the electronic configuration of sodium it would be two comma eight comma one right and what is the valency of sodium again one because it will lose one electron to get a stable octate which is two eight so sodium also has valency one then again if you would have noticed sodium uh, potassium it will have 19 atomic number and its electron con electronic configuration will be two eight eight one and so if you would have noticed there is always one 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 electron in the outermost shell of lithium sodium and potassium so what does this indicate it indicates that all the valencies of these elements are one and one electron there is one electron in the outermost shell of all these elements although the number of shells may be di different they are increasing see here it's two here it's three here it's four the number of shells may increase but the number of electrons in the outermost shell are same which is equal to one so that is why due to this one outermost electron they will have similar properties because all will form uh, lose one electron and form lithium plus ion sodium plus ion potassium plus ion so all of them will behave similarly they will lose one electron and see let us see group number two also in group number two we have beryllium which is uh, whose atomic number is four and its electronic configuration is two comma two okay then again we have magnesium whose atomic number if you will count is 12 like sodium is 11 so magnesium will be 12 so it will be 2 8 2 then we have calcium which is 20 so we have 2 8 8 2 so again we see that the number of uh, electrons in the outermost shell 2 2 2 so they are remaining the same although the shell number of shells may be increasing here it's 2 here it's 3 here it's 4 so again the number of electrons in the outermost shell remains same so the valency is also same so all will form be 2 plus ion mg 2 plus ion ca 2 plus ion by losing these two electrons so that is why they will also show similar properties 
and if you check for any group the number of electrons in the outermost shell will always remain the same for all the elements of the group so that is the characteristic of a group in a group the number of electrons in the outermost shell remains same for all elements of the group so this is the basic characteristic of a group that is why the elements of a group will show similar properties and that is why the properties of any uh, if you take beryllium the properties will repeat after a certain number of elements or certain or certain atomic number so that is why the properties of elements are a function of their atomic number which proves the per modern periodic law and there is one more characteristic of a group it is that if you would have noticed that the number of shells keep on increasing by 1 so the group in a group the number of shell increases number of shells increases by 1 as we move one element down the group as we move one element down the group the number of shell will increase by 1 so lithium has two shells and sodium will have three shells then potassium will have four and so on so that is why these are the two characteristic properties of the group that the electrons remain the same number of electrons in the outermost shell remain the same but the number of shells increases as we go down the group and now you would notice that hydrogen has been placed hanging above the periodic table 